Hey again, we're going fishing. But this is not normal fishing because we're going with somebody who's not into fishing. And that's uh, Lizzie in the back. G'day. Have you watched that, uh, that movie Finding Nemo? Yeah. Well mate, this here will catch your fish. I've got this for Lizzie. I've been sort of putting it off using it. This is Nemo. And uh, it says, I swim like a real fish. Have a look at that mate for a lure. <laughs> you reckon I catch fish mate? Oh, uh, yes. Pretty good eh? It looks a lot better than the uh, the junky jig I've got. Junky jig didn't even look like a fish, it looked like a big round thing with an eye. We've got a slight problem with our motor, this is full speed and we're doing about, oh, I don't know, three knots, four knots. Are you excited, Lizzie? Very. So this is the status now, as the motor's crapped itself. We're stuck on Rabbit Island. <laughs> the sun's just about to go down over there. So we thought we'd come to plan B. Try to get the motor to go, go back home, grab the other one, the Mercury, because this marina just sounds like crap. Let's see if we can get it in the going stuff. Yeah, that's about all you get. And uh, grab a couple of spears, and uh, then come and tie, it'll be dark soon, maybe spear a flounder. I got surgery in the morning, so probably shouldn't stay up too late. I don't think we're going to even get home on the sun. Feeling like shit. Oh, it's a beautiful night to be stuck here anyway. We didn't even get to try a Nemo. If you stay on the boat pace, don't jump out. Stay there, right? This is the perfect time to go floundering. Just about full tide. Beautiful, clear visibility on the water. And now I've got my spear and a torch. We'll get something. Pace. Should jump out. Stay in there. Probably smell a pig. Shit, the bottom's really clear. We want to get the sandy bottom for the flounder. Just saw a little baby flounder. We want to be some bigger ones. There's a lot of big fish around here. This boat is running like shit up here. Not ideal. Yeah, look at that pace. Nice big soul, hey? What a cracker, hey? I reckon they might have been having a naughty together. Just a beauty, look at the size of it. What a ripper. That's a good size flounder. You'd be like a 32. What do you reckon about that pace? Pretty good, eh? Hey? Fucking right it is, man. Don't know if you guys can see a flounder right there. Not a big one, but a feed. My GoPro's died and my battery and my torch has just about run out, but I think I'll have a crack at this guy. So I'll put my uh, phone down so we can get it. There he is, right there. Sit down, Pace, you'll bloody scare him away. You move around like that, you silly bugger. That's a meal for me tomorrow, that one. Right through the head, too. Beauty, that's two. Got a couple of flatties tonight. This one's a bloody monster. That's about 34, I reckon. It's huge. I mean, this one here is a average size, but I don't think I've actually caught one this big before. This pan size fish is perfect for Lizzie. She says she doesn't like fish and meat that much. You can't really live here and not have fish and meat. So that there's been diamond squash, you can see. I'm just patting that in. That is suet. In other words, beef dripping. Laying the fish away from itself in the pan like that. And cooking it in the beef dripping. This is my cattle beast so I slaughtered four days ago. Right, you don't like fish and you don't like meat that much. Let's see if you like this, mate. Alright. So it's only a wee one. Where do your forks live? It's got some wasabi, some spring onion, and some Italian parsley. Have you ever eaten a whole fish like that before? No. So it's got a rib cage, it's got a spine. Move your dressing off the top, your plants, and I've diamond scored it. See those little scores? So pick yourself a diamond out and try that and see what it's like. See so if you can get one on your fork. This might be quite challenging for you if you've never done it before. Got some on your fork? Uh-huh. Okay. 
Just feel it in your mouth. Did you get any bones or are you okay? No. How does that taste? It's delicious. There's no salt on it, so you can salt it if you like. I no, just lift the no, salt it off. doesn't need salt. You don't need salt or pepper? No. All right, mate. Well, I'm pleased you enjoyed that. Bloody good. Luke has joined us and she's going to have some more flounder. That's a big one. That's a big one. So big it's head had to come off. Luca, this has got wasabi, it's got spring onion, it's got Italian parsley, and we've got one sorrel leaf just so it looks a bit greener. I want to know your honest opinion, mate, and if you don't like it, tell me. Tear into it, buddy. I mean, can't really tell yet. Well, there's, there's bones there, so don't get a bone. That's a good piece. Yeah, That'll be perfect. Yeah, listen, I'm getting hungry watching you. <laughs> mm, that's pretty good. You like that? Mm -hmm. Do you like fish? I do. Okay. So can I get a rating from 1 to 10? Have another bite before you... And a really honest rating. Really honest rating. Yeah, mate. I don't mind if it's like a 3 or something. But No, no, it's pretty good. Could use some lemon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Good oh. call. Good call, mate. You know, lemon would be good, yeah. Mm. I've got them on the tree, but yeah, no, good call. There's only a little bit of salt. There's no pepper. No, it's good. Okay, so a bit of lemon would, would bring it up, you reckon? Mm. Yeah, I think so. I think good. lemon would go good with it. Good call. I like that, yeah. Okay. No, that's real good. Awesome. Okay, well, enjoy. Thanks. From the tree to make Madam happy. There we go. That better bring it up to a 10 now, girl. We never got a rating. Yeah, absolutely true. I can see you're enjoying it because I can see you're smiling while you're eating. Yeah. Unless you're one of those people who just has that smile all the time like our Prime Minister. God, no. Right, okay. <laughs> better? Mm. Did that work? Definitely. Yeah, I thought that's a good call. Mm. Oh, God, rating. Got a rating for us yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, just because it's like... A a fresh fish, you gotta give it a 10. Mm. Oh, there we go, you're in the good I books. I agree, and mm. the lemon's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, the lemon was a good call on your part. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. So, those two flounder fed one hungry German from Mainz, one naughty woman from Texas. Am I right, Texas? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one so, Kiwi. <laughs> Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Be good, can't be good. Be careful, we'll see you next one. I'm so stoked you guys enjoyed that because oh, I was going to beat it all by myself. <laughs> oh no, very happy to share it. Awesome, and good to hear about Mainstown, I miss it. See you later guys.